I got a buy release soda. Oh yeah. Let's hope it's got embossing on it too. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's it got on it? Does it have stripes? Yeah. Ooh. Please don't be no, cracked. Yes. Please oh, be it's good. A great pull -off. Is it? Wow. So we go back and forth. Five feet down in this pit here <laughs> and I just dug out a couple nice coke bottles check those out those are nice I don't know if I can be able to get a date off them but I would say they're probably 1940s maybe that's a four on there I don't know probably 1940s I would say so always nice to find a nice coke bottle I can see fours on there so they're probably yeah 41 so they're probably 1940s so I got a couple nice coke bottles there and then I come up here Found a couple other things here too, I'll show you. Old, uh, old, uh, probably a wine bottle of some kind. Nice green, like an olive green color to it. That was a nice one. And then I found uh, one of these BC, like a gin, gin type of bottle. It's got all the, the circles on it. It's like a BC, DC. Very nice. Liquid, liquor bottle. And I found a fork and a little bottle. It's got some ridging on it. You can see all the ridging on there. Kind of interesting. What else have we got up on the shelf? Found this guy here too, look at it. Looks like a woman of some kind, missing her hair. I'm not sure what that would be. It would sit on something. Not really sure. But that's a cool little find. Nice find in the trinkets. Very cool. And then I found a blue uh, blue Bromo seltzer for headaches. And then uh, oh, the bottle's got some ridging on it, so some type of a poison type of bottle. Very cool. Look what just popped out. I got a buy release soda. Oh yeah, I've had a hard time finding ones that are not cracked. They've all been cracked lately. This one doesn't look like it's cracked. These ones are so hard to find intact. Such a nice soda bottle. Pretty goopy inside. Hope it's not melted. Right. Looks like it's in decent shape. The trees above me, they sound like they're gonna like snap and fall on me. <laughs> oh, I found a little lid. I don't know, I just kept it just in case I actually found the, the jar part of it, we'll see. And I found these guys, what are these? They look, look like knitting needles of some kind, but they're green. So they kind of look like they're like a uranium type of glass. So I might just keep, you know, bring them home just to see if they glow. All right. I got a couple bottles sticking out here. We'll pull them out live. Oh, all right. One of those Hiram Walker uh, whiskey bottles. See a little symbol on there. All right, they're always a nice bottle. Uh, this particular bottle dump, they're pretty common, but uh, very, very nice looking bottle. Awesome. And I found this, there's something blue down here. Oh, you can see that, something blue. The milk of May, oh, it's got a bit of a label on it. The other side would be, oh, it's a non-embossed milk of magnesia. No embossing on that, bit of a label. All right, old milk of magnesia. The label obviously is not gonna last. And then, uh, I don't know, a couple other cool things, like a, must be some kind of a perfume, perfume type of bottle. And then, uh, look at the old flower pot. This one here, I think it says wild root. Yeah, on the side, you can see some wild root. I think same on the other side, you got wild root. And then, uh, one of these guys, HG, or H and Gilly. Or H and A Gilly Co. or Gilly Limited, something like that. I think it's some kind of booze bottle again. Found this guy some kind of a, I would say like a, a shoe polish of some kind. Could be an ink, but probably a shoe polish. And then I found a I don't know, a little bit of embossing on the side. Oh boy. I 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to read this one. Oh, a string of saw. A string of saw. A string of saw. And then I found a Buckley's. A lot of these are 1930s, 1940s. Actually, I'm finding a lot of 1940s stuff in this pit. Buckley's. All right. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else down in the pit here, but we'll keep digging around and collapse in the pit. And look at it. Got a blue marble, everybody. Very nice. Can't go wrong with a blue marble. All right. Check out this uh, bottle here. <laughs> Look how melted that is. I have no idea what type of bottle it even was to begin with. That is crazy. A little update. I'm digging down in the pit. The bottle just popped out. It looks kind of interesting. So I'm going to pull that out. Uh, before I do that, I mean, I found a couple things today. Uh, this is kind of neat. It's actually got the, uh, the, the label still on it. It says Russian bear oil. <laughs> Russian bear oil, everybody. I don't even know what, I don't even want to know what that was used for. This is just a kind of a cool looking jar. That's definitely a different shape to it. Unfortunately, no embossing or anything on it, but that was, that's different for sure. And then I found one of these person bottles. It's, it's got embossing on three sides. It's person on th all three sides. So that's a keeper. It's a nice looking bottle. Teacup. <laughs> pretty rough shape. You see all the cracks in it. The finish on it's uh, pretty well roached. I found this glass. Actually, it's like a, a pink color. Look at that. It's a pinkish color to it. That's kind of cool. I might keep that just because it's uh, like there's a glass color there and there's no chips or cracks or anything like that it's, uh, in it. So cool little find. I will definitely keep that for sure. Tyler will probably claim that one. He likes the colored glass. And then yeah, I found this bottle. So I'm gonna pull this out. Oh yeah, it's a big sucker. Oh, it's one of those, um, uh, yeah, hold on. I can't remember the name of it. Oh yeah. Irvin Lucas Bowles Het Lutz Lutz something like that Amsterdam. Obviously, some kind of a booze bottle. Holy crap! It's got a lot of booze still in it. Wow. Okay, that's a cool looking bottle a right there. Bottles came popping out. I'm pretty sure one of them is milk. We'll end it off with that one. But uh, let's do my rounds here. So I found a little dish. Looks like a little bowl. Looks like it's got a little bit of a flower pattern there. That. Okay. I don't know Tyler with me today. Tyler loves this stuff, so I'll be bringing this home for Tyler. There you go. England, something, something, England. Thought this pretty cool. And then I found an old booze bottle. Whoa, it's got a little symbol on it there. It's like an olive green. It's got some booze still in it. Cool looking bottle. And then I just found a ketchup and what's this here? It's nothing. Got a lot of common bottles in here. Green sucker popped out. I don't see any embossing on it, so just a green slicker. Interesting. I found this another booze bottle. Let's see if there's anything on this one. Oh, it looks like it had a label on it. Yeah, it must have some kind of label on it. Again, like an olive green color to it. Nice looking bottle. Very dark color, green color to it. And then I found a ketchup bottle. Can't go wrong with ketchup bottles. They go down over there. That's the, the spot for the ketchups. I found this guy. This one I think has some embossing on it. I think this might be one of those nursery bottles. Well, I'm just going to wipe it on the pants. 1926. Yeah, this must be one of those nursery bottles. Got to sacrifice the pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's cracked. Yeah, that's got a crack in it. That sucks. That sucks. These are nice bottles. Unfortunately, it's cracked. But uh, an old nurser bottle, cork top nurser, 1920s. But that definitely looks like a crack to me. You know, that's yeah, for sure a crack. Oh, that's disappointing. And then I found a milk bottle. Let's just hope this doesn't, uh, this isn't cracked. Let's hope it's got embossing on it too. Ooh, 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 what's it got on it? So, is that Silverwoods? Oh yeah, silver, Silverwoods safe milk. And it's got the star on the bottom. Wicked. Wicked, wicked. I'm very happy with that. I don't find these Silverwoods very often. Silverwoods safe milk. That is sweet. I don't see any chips or cracks. So I'll take it. That'll go nicely in the milk collection. All right. Let's keep digging around in the hole. I've got quite the cave going here. It's all frozen. I'm in the it's a winter time. <laughs> By the time you see this video, it probably won't be winter anymore, but it's all frozen up here. So I have to dig under where it's frozen. So um, unfortunately, I'm digging a cave, which I don't like to do, but uh, it was worth it. Found a cool milk bottle. 
All right, let's keep digging in the cave. Let's go. Everybody, look at there's a bottle sticking out. Kind of looks like a milk creamer. Tyler's gonna do the honors and pull it out. Let's hope it's whole. So wiggle it back and forth. Oh, oh it's not cracked, is it? Let's hope it's not cracked. Holy crap. Check that out. Silverwood. We need to find a few of these lately. Hey, it's so hard to find these intact. These things are always destroyed. Look at that. It's careful not to put it in the sun yet. Maybe not a hundred bucks, well, but it's worth some money for sure. They're hard I've to get. Seen them, like, worth bucks. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't want to put it in the sun because the sun might uh, crack it. That is a nice looking bottle. Wow. Does it have a white the bottom? Is there like a star on the bottom or anything? Oh yeah, there. Oh, is there? Or maybe not. Sometimes they have stars. Sometimes they don't. Oh wait, it says cream. Cream top. Cream top. All right. Very nice find. Good job, Tyler. Let's keep digging around for more. See that sticking out? Might be another milk. We found the one milk over here, and there's another one right here. So let's hope it's whole. All right, Tyler's going to get down there and dig it out or pull it out. Just pull it out. No, it's loose. I pulled on it a little bit. The ground's frozen. It's not going to collapse. Come on. Wiggle it. Oh, is that the, what's under you? It's not, what's, sorry. I heard a crack, but you're stepping on something. Okay, keep, try it again. Wiggle it. Or me to grab it. Okay, I'll, I'll grab it. <laughs> Tyler's a little nervous about getting under here. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's a labeled one. that's a brant brant cooperative dairy or something like that and then i'll have some more embossing let's see if you can carefully clean that up all right tyler's gonna carefully clean that up so it's a acl milk bottle we've hit another milk popped another one out tyler's gonna go grab this one because it fell out just kind of fell out of the top okay what we got I don't see any, uh, Pure, oh, I see embossing. Oh, Purity Products. All right. Oh, no. What? Oh, it's cracked. Still three milk. Now we're on to a milk, a milk spot. But yeah, unfortunately, it's a pure, yeah, it's Purity Products, but it's cracked, as you can see. That's a little disappointing. Oh, well, that's okay. We dug out the, the bottom of a crock. No idea of its hole. It'd be a miracle of its hole, like, like, 99 out of 100 of these things are broken, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll see if that's whole. So we're just going to show you that we have found it. We're going to start digging. It could take like a half an hour to get this thing out. So we'll keep you updated as we start digging it out. All right, let's go. And that's a big nope, everybody. It's, it's broken. Uh, like usual, these things are always busted. But when I was looking, we were looking at that, we thought, oh, hey, finally, finally found something intact. No deal. Oh, well. Okay, let's keep start digging around. Let's keep going. I just popped out a white and green swirly marble. Doesn't look like a uranium glass, but uh, hey, nice looking marble. Very cool. Down in the pit. Pit's getting pretty deep down there. And I also pulled out, uh, because it melts, I found the, uh, <coughs> an old uh, green liquor bottle. Look at that. It must be a wine. Yeah. Look at that. Old green wine bottle. Very cool, very cool. All right. Put that down with our stuff. Let's keep digging around. Let's go. We got another milk. Let's hope this one is whole. This one looks like it's got stripes. It might be a brand co-op. Could be. Does it have stripes? Yeah. Ooh. Please don't be cracked. Please be good. Is it? Wow. These are it's another very rare bottle. These ones uh got some value to it for sure. These things are very these things are very collectible. I don't see no cracks. Nice man. Yeah, I don't I think we have that. a small one, do we? Oh, that's a scratch. Okay. Oh. Yeah, scratch. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, I don't think we actually have this size. We only have the big one. Oh, yeah, right there. See if I can get in the light. I don't want to get in the light too much, though. Yeah, Brant Cooperative Dairy. That is awesome, man. 
These ones are very hard to find, very collectible. You can't even find a value of these ones if you wanted to look up a value, so it's easily worth some money for sure. All right, that is a find. That is definitely a find, eh, Tyler? Look at that. Today is definitely a day for milks, that's for sure. Wow, we also found a salt shaker. I found this actually yesterday when I was here, and I found a, a Glenwoods. I don't know, I just didn't show it. Glenwoods. All right, today's a day for milks. I definitely got the pit going down here, so I'll keep digging in the pit. We'll see what else falls out of here. Let's I go. hope everyone's enjoying the video. If you have a favorite find, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear what your favorite find was. Now back to the video. Let's keep digging.